Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this yoga class. Today I'm going to take you through a bit of flow to warm up and then we're going to do our handstand practice today and I'm going to give you my top tips on how I progressed in my handstand practice. So to begin with, let's start at the front of our mat. Dropping the shoulders down, closing the eyes, palms facing forward. Feet are just over hip width apart. Maybe just walking them side by side. Bending one knee at a time, straightening the other leg. And then settling in, finding some stillness here. Staying nice and active. Not just falling into the knees, you know, and a slight bend in them to engage the leg muscles. Take a nice deep breath in. And sigh it out. Releasing anything that might have been bugging you before you stepped onto your mat today. You can wait until later. Take another nice deep breath. Exhale, release. And then from here, just softly blinking your eyes open. Take a nice inhale and sweep the arms out up above your head. Taking hold with the right hand of the left wrist and taking this into a nice side body stretch for the left body, the left side of the body. Doesn't have to be deep, just a nice gentle side stretch. One more breath here. And then coming back to center. Allowing the arms to drop down, shoulders to relax. Take another nice deep inhale. Arms sweep up and this time with the left wrist, grabbing the right, the opposite side. And when you're ready, bending into that nice side body stretch for the right side body. I like to really think about pulling this right arm so that my socket, I can feel like a deep stretch through this part of my body, through the ribs. One more breath here. And back to center, arms drop down either side. This time, inhale, sweeping the arms up, palms meet, exhale, Folding all the way forward to your forward fold. Bending the knees here as much as you like so that the belly comes close to the tops of the thighs. If you're feeling good, maybe straightening one leg as you bend into the other. Feeling that stretch through the calf and the hamstring. Taking a moment here just to feel and allow your spine to decompress. So letting the head hang heavy. And you might start to feel some openings in the top of the spine. On the next inhale, up to your halfway lift. So hands are either on the shins, on the upper thighs, or if you have a lot of flexibility, you might be able to keep your fingertips on the ground here. Just keep that nice long spine. Remember that the neck is a extension of the spine. And then from here, just slowly planting the palms either side. We're going to pick up the left leg and shoot it all the way to the back of the mat, dropping that back knee down Inhale up to our first crescent lunge. Just moving slowly here. And while we're here with the right hand, taking hold of the left wrist and taking it into another nice side body stretch. Really feeling that opening through the ribs and through the left hip. On your next exhale, release, 
hands come down either side of that front foot, picking up on the back toes, then shooting it back to your plank pose. Now here in plank, slowly lower yourself all the way down to the mat. From here we're going to take baby cobra, so drawing the shoulder blades back together, shoulders pull back, inhale up, just a nice low lift to wake up the spine, and exhale, back down to your mat, let's do that one more time, so inhale up, baby cobra, exhale, coming all the way down. Now from here, on the next inhale, pushing up to your plank and then drawing the hips back towards the ceiling so that you come to your downward facing dog. First downward dog of the day, so maybe just straightening one leg while you bend the other, feeling that nice opening through the hamstrings, through the calves. On the inhale, right leg comes up behind you to paint the wall, drawing it in towards the chest as it lands at the front of our mat. Dropping down on the left knee, inhale up. And exhale, planting the palms either side, left knee, left foot picks up, comes to the front of the mat so that we're in our forward fold. Inhale up to halfway lift, and then keeping that nice flat spine, coming all the way up to standing, palms meet, exhale, drawing it down to your heart center. Now right back into it, inhale, arms sweep up, palms meet, exhale, forward fold. Lifting up to your halfway lift, and then this time, Planting the palms either side, picking up that right foot, sending it all the way back. Dropping that right knee down, coming into our first crescent on this side. Inhale up. This time with the left hand, taking hold of the right wrist, turning it into a nice bit of a side stretch through that right side of the rib cage, opening it up. Opening the right hip. Nice deep breath in. And exhale. Breathing through the nose if you can. One more inhale here. And exhale. Sigh it out as the palms come down either side of that left foot. Pushing up to your plank pose. And then exhale as you slowly lower all the way down to your mat. Now from here, shoulder blades pull together. Inhale up to cobra, so maybe pushing yourself a little bit higher than you would in baby cobra. But the elbows are still bent here. We're not cranking into the back, we're just taking a little back bend. And coming all the way back down to your mat. We're going to do that one more time, so nice deep inhale, up to cobra, and exhale, down to your mat. On the next exhale, up to your plank pose, and then drawing the hips all the way back so that you come to your downward facing dog. From here, left foot comes up behind you, drawing it into the chest, landing between the hands. Drop that right knee back down, one more. Crescent pose on this side, feeling how different it feels from the first one that you did. And then exhale, hands come down. Kicking off that back foot and it meets at the front, coming into a forward fold. And then from here, halfway lift, 
Keeping that nice flat spine, arms sweep out, palms meet as you stand and exhale, drawing it down to your heart center. Hands relax down either side, facing forward. Close your eyes here just for a moment in mountain pose. Shoulders drop down, they're nice and relaxed. Just three breaths here. Staying active, drawing energy up through the feet, and sending energy out through your crown. Blinking your eyes open as we take an inhale. Sweeping the arms out, palms meet, exhale into your forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift, planting the hands either side of those feet, and then picking up the left foot and sending it all the way back. From here, turning the left foot not to a parallel um, to the back of your mat, but more of a 45 degree angle front foot is facing forward and is slowly come up to warrior one so that back foot is completely planted turning your hips to face forward drawing that right hip back inhale arms come up here in warrior one like you're holding a big ball of energy above your head fingers are active hands are active and then from here, turning that back foot parallel, exhale, coming into your warrior two. So looking out over the front fingertips here, maybe dropping a little bit deeper into the front leg. Flipping the front palm and coming, exhaling all the way back to your reverse warrior. Heart shining forward. Exhale, cartwheel your hands all the way down either side. We're going to send that right foot back to downward facing dog. And from here, we're just going to practice a couple of little hops to get us back to the front of the mat. So planting your palms here, you're in downward dog. Hands are nice and spread out, fingers are gripping into your mat. And then bending, coming up onto your toes so that you can get some height. Bending into your knees. And just hop. Keep practicing that. Do 10 hops. Let's do 10 hops. If you can, drawing your feet in as you hop. Two more here. If you're in an apartment building like me, I apologize to the downstairs neighbors, but these hops really help us to build a bit of stability in our hands and our arms when going upside down. And also it helps us to build a little bit of confidence with going upside down. So once you've done your 10 hops, let's just take a short child's pose. Taking your knees nice and wide and coming to a rest on your mat. Arms are spread out nice and long in front of you. Maybe you roll your forehead side to side to just massage that pineal gland, your third eye. Take a nice deep breath into the belly here and exhale, release. Slowly walking yourself back up to seated. We're going to move from taper top back to down facing dog. Either hop or walk your way back to a forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. 
Nice flat spine coming to standing. Drawing those hands down to the heart. Take a nice deep breath here. And exhale. Two more of those. Inhale. Really sigh it out. Listen to the sound of your breath. One more deep inhale into the belly. Sigh it out. All right, inhale, sweeping the arms up. Palms meet. Exhale, drawing it down to your forward fold. Inhale up to halfway lift. Planting those hands either side. The right foot picks up and comes back. We're gonna plant it on that 45 degree angle and then really slowly make your way up to your warrior one. So drawing that left hip back. I like to get the lower body right first before I extend my arms. Make sure that you're feeling solid and engaged in your core. And then the arms are just an extension of that energy. Bending a bit more into the front knee. Nice deep inhale. Heart is shining forward. And then from here, turning that back foot parallel, warrior two. Taking a moment here to gaze over those front fingertips. Nice deep inhale. Flipping that front palm. Exhale, send it back to reverse warrior. From here, cartwheeling your hands forward, coming to plank. In your plank, exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Inhale up to your cobra. Exhale, onto the mat. Now from here, pushing yourself up to tabletop. If you have a blank wall that you're practicing your handstands on, we're gonna practice against a wall now. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, just keep practicing your hops and even just practice them up against the wall with the wall as a support option for you. So, I like to keep my hands like a foot and a half away from the wall here, pushing up so that you're in downward dog, but kind of like a shorter, small downward dog. And then if you just want to practice your little hops, just seeing how much you can hop and not hold it, but feel yourself coming parallel to the wall. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and then if you're feeling really comfortable going upside down, you might start by doing a three-legged dog and hopping with one leg up in the air. <clears throat> Maybe switching sides, do five on each side if you feel really comfortable with that. practicing these hops try to keep your gaze in between your hands on the floor because it will give you so much more stability and if you're feeling really comfortable with that and you're going upside down in your hops you might want to find the wall and just See how long you can stay upside down, keep practicing against the wall. It can be quite tough on your part, on your wrists. So just be careful, remember to take breaks. And if you're having some trouble with your wrists, I really like this stretch where you just turn it down the other way.
just hold that for five to ten breaths on each side whatever is feeling good for you but I find that it just really helps to release any tension that I'm feeling and sometimes I like to give them like a little bit of massage as well and just do little wrist circles and see how check in and see how the wrists are feeling because it can be tough doing handstands on the wrists and then once we're done that because we've been going upside down we want to take a little child's pose so coming back to your mat taking your knees nice and wide arms come out in front resting your head on the mat here and just making space for three nice deep belly breaths Breathing in deep as you feel the belly expand. And as you exhale, feeling the belly release all of that air. When you're ready, just slowly walking yourself back up to seated. We're going to swing our legs around and come to laying down on our mat. Taking the left knee up, giving it a nice big hug, drawing the head up towards the knee if you can, and just giving, rounding in, giving it a nice big hug. Then releasing the head, taking that left side over to the right side, a nice spinal twist, cactusing or extending that left arm and taking your gaze over the left shoulder if you can. Just keeping those shoulders on the mat. It's not so much about how far you can get your knee over, but it's just creating that little twist in the spine. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, release, let it go. Before you let that left leg go, drawing it back up so that you're curling in. Lifting that right leg up, pointing the toes so that your abs are now engaged. And then just switching the legs. Switch, 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 switch. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> Last switch. All right. Letting that left leg relax down. Drawing the right knee in for a hug. Drawing your head up and rounding in if you can. Then releasing the neck. Drawing that right leg over to the left side of the body and extending or cactusing the right arm as you take your gaze over. Just here for a couple of breaths, breathing deep, listening to the sound of your breath. And then drawing everything back to center, giving one more hug to that right leg before sending it out to find your Shavasana. Hands are facing up, open to receiving. Legs and feet are nice and comfortable, just relaxed. Feeling the belly expand and contract as you breathe. Maybe taking one hand to the belly and one hand to your heart. Listening to the sound of your breath as it moves in and out of your body. Maybe 
you're feeling some gratitude for your breath, for supplying your body with the fresh oxygen it needs to survive and to be healthy, for you to feel energized. And then from here, just slowly starting to move the toes and the fingers, waking the body up. Maybe the wrists and the ankles do a couple of little circles here. And then as you blink your eyes open, just finding your way back to a nice, comfortable seat. Drawing the hands to the heart center, taking a nice deep breath in. And exhale, release. To honor one another in our practice, we draw our hands to either our heart or our third eye. Take a bow. Namaste. I honor the light within you that is also within me. Thank you so much for joining me for this class. I hope that you learned a bit about handstands and if you did or if you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments or by giving this video a like and subscribe to my channel because it really helps. And yeah, just thank you so much. Take care and enjoy the rest of your week.